Welcome, Mark with Diesel Laptops here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do your manual connections for your off-highway subscription. We're going to start by opening up our desktop launcher. If you don't have the desktop launcher, you can always reach out to our tech support department at 888-983-1975, option 2, and they'll be more than happy to get you set up with it. It only takes a few moments, and it ties all of our individual applications into one central location, and has also been incorporated into the JAL test software. I'll click on this. We have our diagnostics, and under here, JAL test software. I'll click on this to open up the JAL test software. And once JAL test is open, if you have multiple subscriptions, they'll be displayed out here. So to access our off-highway vehicles, we can come down here on the bottom right. You can access your off-highway equipment, your off-highway engines, and your street sweepers from here. Just make the selection that you're working with. To select a vehicle, we're going to click on the icon of the tractor. On the left-hand side, we have our available brands. So let's say we're going to work on a Caterpillar, click on it. Then we have to select our family, select D series, and then D6 series. Now we have different modules here that we can hook up to on this D6 series. You can filter them out by deselecting or selecting in these boxes. You can perform an all system scan, main system scan, frequent tests, and maintenance resets from here on the left hand side. We'll do an all system scan, which is going to scan for all these components. You can click to the left of the scan button here and get your connector information. There's two different connection modes for this vehicle. The first connection uses a JDC213M3 plus a JDC505A connector. Shows us the location of where it's at. We can come over to the right at the bottom and click a second possible location, a third possible location, and then a picture of the connector itself with its part numbers listed out here. Top connection mode 2, JDC213M3 plus a JDC533A. All of our instructions are listed out here, our possible locations, and then a picture of that JDC-M3 plus JDC533A connector. Once we've select our proper connection, come up here and do a scan. Once the system scan is completed, we are notified up here as well as how many modules were detected during that system scan. The modules that are displayed are modules that were detected during that system scan and we can hook up to these directly to get the most out of this tool. You can expand these individually to get your fault code information by clicking on the plus sign here or you can expand all at the same time by hitting the plus sign at the top. Now you can try and erase all the fault codes for all the modules from this menu as well by clicking the eraser and that's going to try and clear all the fault codes for all the modules. Or you can directly go into each module to get the most out of the tool. To directly connect to a module, just click on the module name and then come up to the top and click the orange connect button. Once we're in and we're directly connected to this engine control module, we can read fault codes, clear fault codes, system data, monitoring, system checks, parameters, maintenance, and our data recorder. Now let's say we want to hook up to another module, click the orange disconnect button here at the top. Now if we want to go into our powertrain module, I'll click here and click connect and repeat that process for all the different modules. Now, let's say I want to hook up just to a engine and come and go to my home screen. Once I'm back to the main connection screen here, I can come in and go to industrial engines. I'll be prompted to select the brand of the engine on the left hand side. Now I have to select the model and now I can do a system selection. Deselect my options here, system scan to get my connector information. I'll click on the connector icon. There's four different connection modes for John Deere here and then click scan at the top. We hit the back arrow here. We can also manually select these from this list. Click connect, select your connection mode and click connect again. Now we have to identify the system. So which stage it is and click OK. Now we're directly connected to this John Deere engine. We can read fault codes, clear fault codes, view system data, monitoring, actuate components, system checks, parameters, maintenance, calibrations, and data recorders. We can disconnect up here at the top right, and we can return to our home menu by clicking the home button here. When you hit disconnect, you're going to be prompted for your diagnostic report. If you wish to save it, you can click yes. If not, we can click no. Now for street sweepers, click on the icon, select the brand on the left hand side, select the model, we can do a system scan or system selection. Proper selections here. Select what type of engine you're working with. For diagnostic connector information, click the connector icon to the left of the connect button. Select your proper connection mode. If you need multi-pins, click on the multi-pin icon here, and it'll give you instructions for that, as well as a detailed description of the diagnostic port and your multi-pin kit. Then at the top right, click connect. Select the type of Cummins engine that we're working with, and hit the check mark. Now that we're in here, we can read our fault codes, clear fault codes, view system data, operation data, monitoring, system checks, parameters, and data recorder. We can access vehicle wiring schematics through the left-hand side and system technical data. Thank you very much for viewing. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any other further questions, please reach out to our tech support department at 888-983-1975, option 2. Have a great day.